Humans are strange creatures. When we're young, we can't wait to grow up. But as we grow older, we often long for our childhood days. Today's story is quite remarkable. A boy named Josh discovered a wishing machine. He tossed a coin and wished to grow up overnight. And the next day, he actually turned into an adult. Josh's best friend, Billy, who played baseball with him, was thrilled. They always had a great time together. However, when they each went home, they faced different troubles. Josh was tightly controlled by his family. Even during his own game time, he was asked to take out the trash. Without Josh's consent, his parents demanded he take care of his newborn sister. Billy's situation was similar to Josh's. His family was always upset, and he was basically responsible for all the household chores. They chatted on walkie-talkies late at night, mostly about the girls they liked. A new amusement park opened nearby where Josh ran into Benson. They planned to ride the roller coaster, but unfortunately, Josh couldn't because he wasn't tall enough. Being humiliated in front of the girl he liked was worse than anything for him. Feeling dejected, he walked down the street, never longing to grow up so badly. Then, he spotted a peculiar wishing machine. He decided to give it a try, but it didn't start until he pounded on the glass in frustration. Suddenly, the machine powered up. Josh made a wish to grow up and pressed the button. The machine dispensed a card with, your wish is granted, written on it. Josh noticed something even stranger, the machine wasn't plugged in, yet it was functioning. He left the amusement park in fear. That night, there was a heavy rainstorm, but Josh slept soundly, unaware of the changes happening to his body. It wasn't until he woke up to get ready that he realized he had turned into an adult, thinking he was mistaken. He soon realized his wish had come true. He ran back to his room to get dressed, but the clothes didn't fit him anymore. He couldn't think of a way to explain to his family, so he quietly took his father's clothes and fled home. He first went to the amusement park, only to find it had turned into an empty lot, and the wishing machine had disappeared. Was he stuck like this forever? He reluctantly returned home, but his mother didn't recognize him. Josh repeated his identity information which only increased his mother's suspicion of the stranger before her. She believed he had kidnapped her son. Josh had no choice but to leave home again. Helpless, he thought of his best friend, Billy. He met Billy at school, who couldn't believe the situation. However, no one else in the world could tell the inside jokes they shared. Billy brought a bag of clothes from home for Josh and even took some of his father's secret money. He teased Josh asking why he didn't wish for a million dollars. Josh seemed helpless. They found a motel where Josh would spend his first night as an adult. After bidding farewell to Billy, Josh locked the door and started making the bed. There was a commotion outside the room. Josh was very scared. He had never experienced such a night before. It was difficult for him as a child at heart to endure. He lay in bed, missing his parents. That night, he couldn't sleep at all. The next day, they started looking for the magical wishing machine but found no clues. To survive, Billy suggested Josh find a job. Eventually, they chose a toy company. Josh was a bit nervous during his first interview. But fortunately, the interviewer didn't question Josh's fake resume too much. At that moment, a female employee entered the office. Her name was Susan, a manager at the company. She complained to the interviewer about a colleague's poor performance and hoped to have him fired. Susan was assertive leaving the interviewer helpless. Josh, who happened to be there, was hired. Due to his love for video games, using computers wasn't difficult for him. He gradually adapted to the workdays. After work, he would lie on his bed and watch TV. Now, he could do whatever he wanted. Sometimes, he would call home. His mother still saw him as a kidnapper, but he would reassure her that he was safe. It was payday, and Josh was thrilled to see his paycheck. The first time he had so much money, he and Billy exchanged the cash, buying toys, and returned to the motel to celebrate. However, Josh soon fell into emptiness after the revelry. He called home again, just wanting to hear his parents' voices. That day, he went to the toy store. Now he could play without worries. Coincidentally, the boss was inspecting the store and recognized Josh. They talked, and Josh shared many imaginative ideas about toys. The boss appreciated the young man and they even played the floor piano together. Josh was promoted to vice president of the product development department and even got his own office filled with toys. He invited Billy to his office, where they played. During a meeting, Josh boldly proposed modifications to the toys, which most people agreed with. Susan also started paying attention to this imaginative man. Josh excelled at the company. He soon saved enough money to rent a big house but didn't forget his friend. Whatever he did, 
He would bring Billy along and occasionally send letters home to report his safety. The day of the company's party arrived, and Josh put on his best suit. Childish aesthetics didn't fit well in the adult world, but he was praised by the boss. He admired Josh's sincerity. Of course, Josh wasn't the only one admired by the boss. Susan also silently watched Josh. She invited Josh to leave the party with her and they drove off. Josh was curious about everything in the car. He opened the sunroof and invited Susan to play. They happened to pass by Josh's residence, which piqued Susan's curiosity. Josh didn't think much and took Susan to his apartment. But Susan seemed disappointed. Although she had other ideas, they had a great time in the apartment, and Susan was eagerly anticipating a date with Josh. She lay on the bed, waiting for Josh to come. But he unhesitatingly climbed onto the upper bunk. Susan seemed a bit disappointed. But her heart was already captivated by this man's innocence. She kissed Josh. And for the first time, the boy felt affection. It was different from the love he talked about with Billy. It was his birthday. And Billy had prepared a surprise for him. Billy thought they would celebrate together. But Josh disappointed him. Josh had already made plans to go to the amusement park with Susan. Which was the first time Billy felt disappointed with his friend. Recent events were too hard for these two young boys to understand. After growing up, people often like meeting new people but tend to ignore those around them. Josh and Susan had a great time at the amusement park. Now he could enjoy all the rides without worrying about his height. They even had enough money to play all the games. Their relationship quickly intensified. To the point that Josh didn't even notice the wishing machine reappearing. For him now. Finding the machine turning back into a child, and returning to his true life weren't that important anymore. He was an adult now, immersed in a relationship with Susan and dedicating all his energy to his career. But it also meant he didn't have time to spend with Billy. In Billy's eyes, Josh had disappeared. He tried calling Josh, but he never answered. One day, Billy received a letter listing all the wishing machine locations. He wanted to share the good news with Josh, but Josh still didn't answer the phone. Helpless. He went to Josh's office. Josh was working and was annoyed by Billy's sudden appearance. It seemed like Josh was angry at Billy for interrupting his work. But in reality, Billy's presence reminded Josh that he was just a kid. In this regard, Josh was weak. Billy was disappointed in Josh. He returned home and threw away all the items related to Josh in the trash. The walkie-talkie they used to communicate suddenly made a sound. It was a signal from Josh's mother. Billy saw Josh's mother outside the window and both of them missed Josh very much. Josh, who was also in emotional distress, thought of Billy. He was torn because Billy appeared again. Suddenly, he found his favorite video game. The disc reminded him of his past. To confirm his thoughts, he returned to the community and walked through the streets he had walked countless times before. Everything was so familiar yet unfamiliar. It happened to be graduation season and his classmates looked a bit different. They were slowly growing up too, so Josh made up his mind. He returned home and told Susan everything about his experience. Susan couldn't accept it at first, thinking Josh was being unreasonable, until she found a wishing card. She began observing Josh's daily behavior. Because Josh was too naive, Susan gradually believed Josh's experience. Billy found the location of the wishing machine and came to the office to confirm his friend's answer. But at that moment, Josh hesitated again. Billy left disappointed. However, during the meeting, Josh reconsidered. This time, he made a decision. He wanted to find the wishing machine. Seeing Josh again, Billy was excited. He was happy to see his old friend again. Josh found the wishing machine again and activated it. This time, Susan appeared and saw the new wishing card. Very disappointed. She couldn't accept the fact that her beloved had left. But looking at Josh's face, she felt relieved. After all, Josh had a lot of things left to do, right? Susan sent Josh back to the community. She kissed Josh on the forehead and said goodbye. Watching Josh leave, Susan was stunned by what she saw. When she came back to her senses, Josh had turned back into a 13-year-old. 